Hi, I'm vocalist producer Mario Lewis, and today I wanted to talk about a few things about vocalization, singing, um, basically singing the high notes, singing the low notes, and strengthening uh, the muscles uh, around your lungs and your throat, your vocal cords. And uh, well, first thing, um, singing the low notes, okay? Uh, for singing the low notes, one of the techniques that I've learned was basically uh it's a, a simple technique but basically where you have to stick out your lips almost like like a like a trumpet you know kind of stick them out like that and uh i'll show you an example of this of course and you're bringing them out because you're singing that low note and you want to get the low notes as best as you can uh, for any voice this is what what you need to do so for example if i were to sing a uh the phrase i love you we'll say just as an example I love you. So you see what I'm doing? I just want to show you how my my mouth is when I do that. Just stick out your mouth and right bring out that low note, right? So again, let's try that one more time. So using your diaphragm, of course. I love you. So notice my mouth again, okay? So that's the important part. As soon as you're trying to get that low note, you really bring out your mouth like that, like a trumpet, and just kind of bring that low note. And again, this for any voice to bring out the lowest, uh, to, to get the lowest of the notes when you're singing, to do that, that's the technique that I use that has worked very effectively for me. It has worked very good for me to get those low notes <clears throat> okay so don't forget that a lot of that will come deep from your your diaphragm the power to hit these notes okay uh, high notes or low notes and in this case again let me show you one more time I love you okay so that's how it should be when you're hitting those really low notes which can happen even though one one would argue and say well you know you should uh, uh, sing songs that are within your range and, and all this uh, in certain situations you may need to use that because in a live situation when you're playing if you're playing with the band and improvising right you want to be able to uh, uh, get those low notes as best as you can with your voice you know your your own voice and go as deep as you can not everybody has the baritone voice vocal cords uh, to be able to do that so you want to go as deep as you can for whatever voice you may have um, so anyways in, in other cases where your voice is fatigued you're tired you already sang a few songs you can use this technique to you know uh, get those low notes even though you may feel tired because maybe you can hit those low notes but you're again like you, you're probably tired and your voice is fatigued anyways <clears throat> so that's what you would do for the high notes what you want to do is the opposite you don't want to go low with your you know your face uh, your lips going down like this you want to keep a half smile we'll say not a full smile but a half smile when you hit those high notes it really it helps so again if we do the same phrase I love you but with the half smile right it'll bring out the highs in your voice I love you and you can really hold it too that's the other thing that for both techniques you can really hold those notes well uh, keeping that right half smile in this case where the high notes and again so I love you okay so that's how to do it for the high notes a half smile again I'm gonna show you again with my face like this and you know you're not necessarily I don't want to sound ridiculous here you're not singing like that but you go as you sing that high note try to keep that right 
and and, and it'll help. But again, you're not going to be doing that like ridiculously and looking ridiculous, right? You're doing it as you're singing. Again, practice it, right? Because that's the way you're going to get. You're going to practice that when you do the high notes. It really helps to bring out the highest in your vocal cords, okay? Um, yeah, so that that's that's what you would do. Now, also, I wanted to talk about strengthening the muscles around your lungs again, which is very important for power and control, uh, strengthening the muscles around your vocal cords. <clears throat> okay, so with that, one of the things that I did that was effective as well, and again, again, I hope this works for you too. There's a lot of great techniques out there, but this is what effectively worked for me. So singing the vowels of the alphabet. So A, E, E, O, U. And doing it uh, with vibrato, using your vibrato to do this, of course. So you're singing it and you're you're using your vibrato and this is going to help to strengthen your lungs and strengthen your voice. Again, don't take breaks in between that. Do the whole thing in one piece. Practice that as much as possible. Practice it again, one piece like this. Vibrato. Okay. Uh, practice that, like I said again, as much as possible. I can't stress enough to strengthen the muscles around your lungs, to strengthen your vocal cords. Okay, and that's what's going to help to bring you power, control, and this is what you're looking for as a vocalist. Um, again, to mention, you know, uh, if anybody else has other techniques that they would like to share, please leave a comment below as well. All comments are, are welcome. A um, lot of great uh, vocal techniques out there. Uh, also, when you're one of the things I, I also understand that when you're singing high as well. What you want to do as well is when you sing high, think low. But when you sing low, think high. That also helps in, in opening up your uh, your voice, right? To not 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 choke when you're doing so low or so high, right? Getting the best out of your voice. We all have our limits. You know, we all have our limits, and that's totally fine. You know, but there's a lot of you know dynamics that you can work with in between all that, of course. So anyways, uh, moving on to the next thing, I wanted to just sing a song uh, by this group called, I'm sure you know the group, it's Toto, uh, famous group, late 70s, 80s, uh, rock, and um, I, I, one of my favorite bands, uh, or if not my favorite, uh, that song, Georgie Porgy, which I'm sure you know very well, it's a very mellow, chill song, great for listening to, if you want to listen to oldies in your car. Anyways, so Georgie Porgy put him pie, kiss the girls and make them cry. Georgie Porgy put him pie, kiss the girls and make them cry. It's not your situation, I just need contemplation for your love. I'm not so systematic, it's just an I'm an addict for your love. I'm not the only one that holds you, I never ever should have told you, you're my only girl. I'm not the only one that holds you, I never ever should have told you, you're my only world. Anyways. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care, stay safe, and bye for now. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for future video updates. Or you can leave a comment below. Thanks and cheers.